During the questioning of the chief medical officer by MPs, Woody got asked whether the government made a mistake by not putting pregnant women into the priority groups sooner. Statistics from August reported that only 22% of pregnant women have received their jab. However, one in six of the most critically ill patients are unvaccinated pregnant women. Professor Woody said, the uptake of vaccination in pregnant women is depressingly low a significant number of women has come to serious harm as a result of this. Almost all of the women who are in hospital or in ICU with this are people who have not been vaccinated. Vaccination really protects pregnant women. Omicron symptoms, 7 early symptoms to spot and why they differ from the Delta variant The chief medical officer explained there is a lot of myths around this and encouraged pregnant women to get vaccinated. He noted, we really should have made that point even clearer earlier on, this isn't a government point but a medical profession point. I think there are a lot of myths around this and this is the thing we really need to take on. It is not true there are increased risks of this vaccine. What is true is that COVID and pregnancy is a dangerous combination. Don't miss, nearly as bad as smoking, the popular food that quadruples the risk of dying from cancer, in former Pfizer booster shot. The unexpected side effect after third dose, Pfizer finding, in former, Omicron symptoms, seven early symptoms to spot and why they differ from the Delta variant, in former.